Afternoon guys. Doing a bit of yabby pumping down here at the Brisbane waters. And grey old gloomy day. Just see how we go. It's gonna get yabbies. We're gonna try a vibe in the rip. I'm really try vibing in there. Maybe some plastics. And we'll see how we go. A little bit breezy at the moment. Hopefully the rain holds off. Good watching them hard at work here, but I've already been in there actually. I've done my share. I've got some yabbies ready to go. Righto boys, that'll do us. Good work. Aaron and Jason with us today. Alright, see you when we're fishing. Come here mate. Tell you what, look at that for a blue swimmer. Jason just got that in the yabby. It got tangled around his line. Very rare to actually land a blue swimmer on a yabby, but wow. That is a big blue swimmer. What do you reckon? He's probably, he's getting close to six, seven under it across. Good size swimmer, look at that. Absolute ripper. Anyway, we're gonna keep him because Beautiful weeding out of the Brisbane waters of swimmers. Get him on the ice, I think. Alright, we'll lob him um, in that one, I think. What do you got there, mate? A little whiting. A little, whiting. A little trumpet, a little trumpet or whiting. Love those yabbies. It's a good size trumpet or whiting, actually. Nice big fat one. Yeah, he's a good 30 centimetres, isn't it? He swallowed the long shank right back, so we're going to keep that whiting. That's a trumpeter whiting, you can see by the stripe on him. Yeah. What do you got here, Aaron? Another oh, good whiting. Oh, you got me. Somehow. There's another keeper whiting there. I'm going to put him on the measure just to be sure. He looks like he's about the Great same. Metal, he's about 30 by the look of him. I'm fishing in about half a metre of water on this bank here. Not even that, probably about 30 centimetres probably. And this is incoming tide. Yabbies. We should get some big whiting hopefully. Feels a bit better. That feels a bit better. The weight. Feel. Oh, what we got here? What? Is it a flathead or? No, I think it's a flathead. Yeah, it's a nice flatty. Nice flatty. Bad for a yabby. Bad for a yabby at all. Oh, beauty. Good eating size, eh? About 50. He's a beautiful eating size. I've got the brag nut there. I'll just chuck him on just for the hell of it. But there he looks about 50. Long shank hooked perfectly in the lip there. Just with the yabby straight out. Jeez, he's nice colours, that one. Absolutely magic colours on him. Beautiful looking species, this one. Come on, mate. Yeah, he's full of energy. Yeah, 53, 53 centimetres. But jeez, he's a beautiful looking fish. <laughs> Absolute beauty, 53. Good eating size, perfect eating size. Look at that, look at the colours on him. It's absolutely perfect colours. Beautiful eating. Anyway, we're we'll getting him on the ice with the two whiting and the crab. Another Good little mixed bag. Another fish incoming. Oh, he's got one there, does he? 
What do you got there, mate? Looks like giving you a bit of another trumpet or whining there. Coming in one after another in the yabbies. Yeah. Oh, a nice whiting, mate. A bit. Nice trumpet or whiting there. Geez, they're big species, these trumpeters around here. Freaking 30 centimetre jobs. Yeah, they don't usually get as big, the trumpeters, so these are really fat, really fat, healthy ones. They really are. It's a good look. I'll just show them quickly. You see the trumpeters, they got the stripe on them. Yeah. Bit different than the sand whiting, the sand whiting, the golden coloured, full solid. Nice little haul in there, eh? Yeah, looking like a nice little mixed sack. What do we got here? Brimbo! We are just talking about the Brimbo and there he blows. What are you doing, Aaron? Stop curling around me. Ugh. I don't know what's going on here. He's a keeper, though. Yeah. Nice big... No, he's pro. 32 centimetres, I suppose. Yeah. But we're getting a nice little feed going here. There we go, Aaron's just got a beautiful whiting. Hold him up there, Aaron, show him. And I've hooked a beauty here. Beauty whiting I've got as well. Give us a look, Aaron, on the camera. Oh, look at this one, he's a ripper I've got here. We just came into the flats where I've been pumping yabbies and wow, this is a big whiting. This is a bigger one than Aaron's, I think. He's a ripper. Whoa, hey. Yeah. That's what we want, look at that. That's what we're talking about. A couple of rip snorters of water. They are big whiting. Good whiting. We're about 30 centimetres deep down here. And that's where you get them. That's where you get these big boys. They call them elbow slappers when they get up this size. When you hold them by the head, the tail comes down near your elbow. They're rippers. Yeah, good size whiting. Good bloody whiting. I might even put him on the measure. He's getting close to 40. Isn't he? he might even be a tad over 40, this one. Yeah. yeah he's, he's up there. What do we got here? No, he's not that big. 38. 38 centimetres, but yeah. They're beautiful eating these whiting. They really are a clean eating fish. And they're the sand whiting. You can see there's no lateral line. A lot more golden colour. A lot more solid. I'll show you the trumpeter quickly against it. But as you can see with the trumpeter, side by side, you get the stripe. They're a lot clearer. Yeah, you can just see the difference in species there. Good to see side by side like that. All right. Here we go, two beautiful whiting. These are gonna be beautiful on the frying pan when we get home, I tell you. Get them on the ice. Look at that for a... Nice you, know, you, you must have cast right next to me. Oh, I was off to the right, remember? Yeah. He's on. Good one, Bert. Good one, you reckon? He's predicting a good one? Oh, the camera's rolling still. Good fish. Whiting? Yeah. Brim. Oh, brim. Brimbo. Skinny water brim. Oh, yeah. Nice brim, too. Good, good, good 37 there, yeah. And literally, I'll show you how deep we're fishing here, guys, just to prove it. Oh, it's knee deep. It's a, bit, it's a bit deeper than I thought it was, actually. It's knee deep. The tide's on its way in here. This is how I used to fish it, mate, when I was a kid. Wondering, walking the flats, casting. 
Oh, you get all the new ground without moving the boat. Good look, Aaron. Good fish there. Good bloody mess you got going on there. <laughs> well, you're going on the dinner plate anyway. Yeah, whack him on the ice. Ooh, ooh. Another brim, I think, by the backbone of that. Yeah, yeah, another brim. These are good fun in this skinny water. You had one following you in then, Luke. You think? I think it was a mullet, that one. Close to a keeper, but we're throwing back. We've got a good little haul there. Unless they're 30, I'm not really interested. Yeah, no, I had a feel of do that to me, mate. Bloody hell, we're just pumping some yabbies, guys. And this rod, rod went off in the rod holder. I had to run back to the boat. Only put the GoPro half on. Quick bit of footage, but another keeper in. Got that top fin wound there. He's probably about, yeah, he's a good keeper. 30 centimetre, 32. Geez, we're getting a good haul. We're all having a feed today. I'll give you a quick look in the, um, in the bucket, but geez, yeah, killing it. Everything in there, oh, you've got crabs. And big bloody crab in here too. Big whiting, good brim. Yeah, it's a good little haul in there. It's good, good to see. We're all going to be eating well tonight. Plenty of trumpeter white in there too. That's six of them. Good feed. That's it. Another adventure done. Good little session in the end. Jeez, we got probably six keeper trumpeter whiting, two big sand whiting, We've got three decent brim and two flathead and the crab. So really good session on the abbeys. A couple of hours, really easy fishing, really relaxing way of fishing. And yeah, I don't mind yabby fishing. It's um, what I've always done when I was younger and always pulls in a good bag of fish. Anyway guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing. And I'll see you on the water. Catches. <laughs>